you're looking real pretty, young boy. We're going to get them bumps cleaned off your face with a special solution. What's going on, y'all? Grind them all the way back in this thing again, man, with another video, man. And I wanted to talk about this story because I thought it was interesting. I thought it was interesting, man. My boy Rob at Blacklight Revelations made a video on it a while back. And it's about the whole Aiden Fucci character, the, uh, the bumpy-faced brat that... You know, he stabbed a girl like a uh, hundred something times and, you know, he was acting all cool about it. He had a whole bunch of stands on the internet like, oh yeah, Aiden Fucci's the greatest! Because they're idiots and people are dumb and dumb people make people, make dumb, sorry people famous and whatnot. But uh, I've got a couple videos here to watch, man. And I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. So comment down that. And let's get into it. This one's first from uh, the news for Jax. Let's get it. It was Mother's Day when the 13-year-old's body was found in a wooded area of the Durban Crossing neighborhood in St. Yeah, John's Mother's County. Day. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris <laughs> is going through the four videos just released by the sheriff's office. Janice. And I've had a chance to look at all of them. One video shows 14-year-old Aiden Fucci running from out of the woods where deputies say Bailey was found dead. And another video shows Fucci's mom washing a pair of jeans. It appears to be the same jeans that got her arrested for tampering with evidence in the investigation. She's tripping. And the mom's crazy, bro. So the mom's like, yeah, you, 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 you stabbed somebody, son? You, you stabbed them up good? Uh, son, I don't want you to get arrested, man. Well, where's your clothes? Well, I'll wash them up. So you just let a, you just let a, a demon into your house and you decided you was going to wash. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll let them in. I don't, and it's like, I know like a lot of our moms really are down for us and everything like that, but I think there's a point where that thing gets a little bit too far. Let's continue the video. According to investigators, this is video of Aiden Fucci after his schoolmate Tristan Bailey had been murdered on Mother's Day. Having fun. A car. Fucci on the run can be heard He's saying so lame, having bro. fun in a cop car. Bailey's body would be found on Mother's Day. Just hours before Fucci was in the back of this deputy car, Fucci is seen running. This video is at 1.52 in the morning of Mother's Day. St. John's County Sheriff's investigators say the person that was running is Aiden Fucci. Another video at 3.31 in the morning shows what appears to be a boy walking to a door barefoot holding a pair of shoes. A second image shows what appears to be the same person walking up to the house. This final video takes us inside Ow. Aiden Fucci's home. His mother is seen inside of a bathroom washing a pair of pants. Fucci's mother, Crystal Smith, would be arrested for tampering with evidence in Tristan Bailey's murder investigation. Damn, man. So that's crazy, man. The first thing I want to talk about, man, is why the hell is the house so goddamn dirty? Did y'all see that shit? That shit was outrageous. The mom's crazy. Aiden Fuji's crazy. Does anybody understand or know why he did what he did to the girl? Was it like, uh, you know, they were having like a, a puppy love relationship? Maybe he was just an extreme weirdo, incel guy. Cause I mean, the bumps on his face is kind of giving me an incel, incel weirdo black pill vibes. Like, does anybody know about that? That's a crazy crime in itself, man. They say it was a uh, hundred sometimes he stabbed the woman. I mean, the girl. I don't know how old she was. I think they was both about the same age. But uh, he stabbed her. Then he ran home, told the mom what he did, and the mom was like, "Oh man, we're gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna wash clothes so and get you out of here." I'm glad they arrested her. She going down too. The mom looks like a crazy woman. But then recent footage just came up of old Aiden Fuchsia. Old Aiden Fuchsia, got it, and he's uh he's in he's in jail, and we're gonna see how he's acting. The different faces of Aiden Fucci. The 14-year-old charged with killing his schoolmate, Tristan Bailey, has been under arrest since May. And since then, we've seen several videos of him showing a range of emotions. And the most recent is this video of him in court yesterday talking about demons taking his soul. Four different videos showing different versions of 14-year-old Aiden Fucci. Fire, this Snapchat video shows Fucci and a friend in the back of a patrol car. This was during the search for Tristan Bailey, hours before her body was found with more than 100 stab wounds on Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Tristan, if you're 
and walk out the dam. Fuji also snapped this photo. I spoke with Bori Osaki, who is a licensed clinical social worker. It was not matching the situation for sure. But sometimes that can be a sign of mental illness when someone doesn't react in a normal way or the opposite way we would expect. Two days later, Fuji appears in court. And your name for the record, sir? Showing a quieter version of himself as he learns he is charged in connection to Bailey's murder. Fuji runs his hands through his hair, blinks his eyes, and I'd appears to hold back tears. It could have hit him and he's realizing he's realizing the gravity of the situation. They could be tears for himself, you know, that he's in trouble. Um, it could be putting on an act. It's really hard to know uh, until he's evaluated. This court video shows him being indicted as an adult as he's charged with first degree murder. Showing little emotion, he only responds to the judge. Do you understand the charge against you? Yes, sir. Wednesday's court video shows the most interesting version of Fuji. He mumbles about demons. His demeanor completely different from the day he was in the patrol car. Do you think at all that he might be faking it? I can't really comment on that. I don't know him. I haven't evaluated him. All I can say is it's possible. For a child to, to fake like that would be a pretty tall order. All right, man. So that's the video right there, man. I think he's definitely faking it, man. Um, He's most certainly faking it. He's trying to get that insanity, that insanity plea or whatever they say. And if you've watched uh, a YouTuber by the name of JCS Criminal Psychology, he talks about the whole situation of guys who create who commit acts trying to play crazy and most often they don't get it they don't they don't get the insanity plea because the psychologists that they have that go in there and evaluate them are a1 so they're able to be like hey bro what, what the hell that shit nah bro you ain't the way you breathing ain't looking right bro the way you sweat it at 90 degrees ain't looking right and they just they just be like hey, yeah he's not he's not fit and they say the guys they say he said also why would you want to get it because if you do make the insanity plea that you're going to spend more time in, a, in an insane asylum versus how much time you will get in, in prison. So you say you get, I guess, 20 years in prison. I think you get like maybe 30 years. Who knows? I, maybe, I don't know about 30 years. But some, it would be more than what you would get in prison. So why would you want to be locked down more in an insane asylum? Also, you're not crazy. Think about the fact that you're not crazy. So now you're going to an insane asylum with crazy people. He said a lot of crazy stuff goes down in those places. And I could believe that the orderly guys are probably in there graping on patients. <laughs> orderly, what are you going to do? You said you're crazy, right? Well, let me see how crazy it tastes. No, no, orderly, no. I, orderly, I, orderly, I'm not crazy anymore. Orderly, no, not the demon, no. Yeah. The people that are in there are probably weird. And who knows what kind of uh, acts they're committing. You're in constant danger in that thing. And, and if you're not crazy, you're going to come out of there crazy or worse than you were before. So why would you want to do that? First off, you shouldn't be committing crimes anyway, man. This guy's trash. Even at a young age, I don't care about none of that. What, what all y'all feel like. He, he was young. His brain hasn't developed. He knew what he was doing, bro. You knew what the hell was going on, man. He done played enough video games to the point where he knew, all right, I do this, it's going to offer. So don't be out here trying to cape for this guy, man. Y'all dummies out there, man. But, uh, yeah, man, he's yeah, he's trash. He's not going to get that insanity plea. He's going to be out there in prison or in juvie, and they going to got down. Big John's going to have at him because he's a young guy. He's looking, they going to be like, hey, you're looking real pretty, young boy. We're going to get them bumps cleaned off your face with a special solution. <laughs> but uh yeah man y'all let me know what y'all think about that whole situation man i think it's crazy it is outrageous man i can't believe that he did that i can't believe that the mom helped him and and kept him in the house and tried to you know defend it and, and keep him all that and then this guy the way he was acting in the, in the cop car with no remorse out here appropriating in these streets and then 
having bumps all the bumps on his face that was another crazy thing that's not even that's that's not even part of the murder case but that shit was a crazy thing on itself them bumps on his face and that haircut um and then you know they they they're saying he's acting like he had no remorse in the court cases with the judges and then now now he's out here talking about some yeah the, the demons uh, 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 the demons gonna take me away and the, and then the little psychologist lady's up here talking about some yeah I, I, there's no way for a child to do that. Why would a child do that? That'd be a tall order. He just killed somebody. A hundred stabs. That was a tall order. What are you talking about, dummy? What are you saying? It's not a tall order for this guy to sit up and lie and say, Demon, he's not even doing it in convincing fashion. He's doing a look around thing and acting like he's suddenly crazy all this time. Bro, you didn't go from zero to a hundred crazy out of nowhere like that, bro. Come on, man. Dumbass psychologist. She just trying, I don't know what she was trying to say in face for. I would be like, yeah, he's faking it. He's trash. I probably wouldn't say he's trash, but I'd be like, yeah, he's faking it. Yep. Yeah, but uh, that's it. That's the video right there, man. Y'all have a great day. Y'all go out here and get it. And I'll see y'all next time.